Hi guys, I doing this again with index option trading on November 12th after the market close and here's a quick look of E-mini NASDAQ 100 futures. As you can see, we hit this trend line, the rising trend line today and yesterday and we managed not to close above it. We hit that at 1770 and then came right back on it. The market is getting slightly overbought from neutral to overbought conditions here and we barely make it made it here this is nasdaq futures not the nasdaq nas nasd this is the nasdaq futures that we're looking at it uh, okay let's go take a look at e mini futures here es and just also had a rough day here and we hit a high of 1103 on wednesday and then we slammed hard yesterday and today and um, the market is also getting a little bit between uh, neutral and overbought conditions here uh, the worst one that we have looked at here is TF, which is Russell 2000 Index Mini Futures. And what happened here, if you look at it, we have been traveling up here, and then today we hit that 50-day moving average 595 and slammed it. Did not have enough uh, bidding, uh, enough power in this in this move to make it above this 50-day moving average and close above the trend line. The futures just failed, dropped here and it just went down here from down uh, all day after there was a market strength that came in in the morning and then again we just failed and uh, since then we never looked back and we just kept going down uh, also it is not overbought it's between neutral and overbought conditions right now so uh, there could be another attempt on this 50-day moving average and if we manage to close above 50-day moving average the market should be in an uptrend here very shortly Here's a quick chart on S&P 500 and if we, these are the trend lines that we have been drawing and as you can see here today uh, we came up here and then slammed hard against this trend line at 108.7. We did not penetrate this trend, rising trend line so we're still in good shape here. This was a slight pullback and we can expect some kind of a strength if the market gets here to move up and bounce up from here. The 50-day moving average is right below it. Uh, the market on the, on the stochastic for SPX is getting between the neutral to overbought conditions. It's not fully overbought here yet, but we should be getting there. Uh, this move is looking like to fade here uh, in a bit, and if we do not penetrate uh, higher, and if we do penetrate this thing, then yeah, the market has come down here. But that is where the S&P 500 is. Here is let's take a look at uh, RUT RUT, and we see here that RUT also managed to come down here and hit that 50-day moving average at 595 and then it slammed down here to 580. There was a lot of selling here during the day and it did finish the day on the lows. The market on and rut is between neutral to overbought conditions. It has not fully been overbought yet so there is a little bit punch left into this uh, move and if it will come in a couple days we should be seeing some kind of a close above 50 day. That is the key to this market going into a bullish stand and moving higher making higher highs and higher lows but in this way if you look at it the market is really going sideways and is having difficulty. The rut is the only index that is not performing as well and like other indexes are doing here for example let's go take a quick look at NDX and let's see what NDX is doing. NDX also hit that rising trend line slammed and then moved down here to 1773 NDX is also getting a little bit overbought between neutral and overbought readings. So that's what is happening on the market. The risk to reward at this time for longs is exactly not there. There's a little upside to go and there's more to the downside. So the market is getting overbought. As a result, we have to be defensive of some of these positions that uh, we're holding and the longs are difficult to place in this environment where uh, it is hitting these trend lines and not making through and 50-day moving averages the index rut is failing so we may have to hold back on some of the longs the risk to reward is simply not there and that's all for today and I'll talk to you tomorrow